Hello and welcome again to another video in the series Learning to Drive with Gary Phillips. In this video we're going to look at crossroads and the two main types of crossroads which are unmarked and marked, sometimes referred to as uncontrolled and controlled. So we'll start off with the unmarked crossroads. Within unmarked crossroads you don't see many of them uh, now but they tend to be on housing estates um, places where you would only tend to get local traffic and people would know that they were there um, but if you do come across one the way to spot one is as you're driving along look out for gaps on the left and the right opposite each other and then look for markings on the road if you've not got any markings in front of you and the other road hasn't got any markings then it's an unmarked crossroads so the way you would approach it is same as any junction use your MSPSL routine but then imagine that there was a giveaway line at the end of the road that you're on so imagine the giveaway line there, approach at the speed that you would normally do if it was a, a normal crossroads or T-junction uh, in relation to the vision. Usually they are quite closed junctions and you can't see for houses and bushes in this case. Um, so you would be going at a speed where you could stop safely, maybe first gear speed at the end. Sometimes you can do it in second if you can see a little bit more. But you'd arrive at it at a speed that would suit the vision. And as you get to the junction, you'd be looking to the right, looking ahead, looking left, and then back again ahead and right to see what was there. If it's clear obviously you can go through but sometimes you get somebody else there at the same time. In this case we've got a few vehicles but let's imagine there's just one. Uh, the way to decide who's going to go first is to make eye contact because nobody again has got priority in this situation. So even if their road was wider than yours let's say it wouldn't give them any more priority. They may assume priority but they wouldn't have it. So you have to be sure who's going to go first. So eye contact to decide who's going to go first and sometimes they might wave to you to say you can go. Always double check to make sure it is safe before you do go. And we wouldn't wave to anybody else because it's not a good idea to um, beckon somebody on because they tend to just go off that signal and it may not be safe for them. So make sure for yourself that it is safe and then continue. Now when we come to marked crossroads the road um, with priority in this case goes down the middle the major road and then we've got the minor roads that come onto it which have to give way to the major road so imagine we're coming up in the red car and we're turning right we'll have used the MSPSL routine again the speed that we approach it depends on the vision um, but in this case we've got a car opposite so from way down the road back here we'll have probably spotted that car as we come up to the junction that car is still there and we're looking for a gap in the traffic so we start to look to the right ahead and left and ahead and right again so once the ro uh, major road is clear then we've got to consider who's going to go first this car opposite or us there is no priority with that just because he's going straight on it doesn't mean to say that he's got priority over us because we're both giving way to traffic on this major road and in relation to each other there is no actual written priority he may assume pri priority because he thinks that because he's going straight and we're turning across that he should be able to go first but it isn't actually a written rule so the only way to decide is to make eye contact so we'd look at him he might be looking at us if he's not looking at us and he's looking for a gap and he's ignoring us then usually you know he's going to go as soon as he gets a gap so there's a clue if he's just looking at us and he's not looking for his own gap then it tells you that he's waiting for us sometimes people might flash the lights or beckon you again if they do make sure that it's definitely safe before you go don't just go on there and say so we wouldn't flash the lights to somebody and we wouldn't beckon somebody out because it could be dangerous they might just go on our say so when it wasn't actually safe so once we've established who's going to go first then we would emerge um, and same when you get onto the new road same as any new road mirror signal maneuver check your mirrors cancel your signal and build up your speed to the speed on that road so there's a bit about crossroads hopefully that's helped you and see you again next time